With us now is Leslie Remy. He's an entrepreneur and he has such a fascinating story. We had to bring him on set. Welcome, how are you, Leslie? Hello, Donna. How are you? Good. Thank you for celebrating my brand. Thank you for running an ad in the paper about you being excited about being on. I'm super excited to have you here. You have Good Guys Mobile Kitchen. Yes, I do. Okay. What was the inspiration for that? Well, a love of food. That's where it started. Lo love to cook, love to eat, love to see happiness flow in any room, any occasion. That's how this all came about. You also had a little sister that was premature. Yes. And your mom had you help feed her. Absolutely. She charged me. They were, she, she, God bless her. She, was, she raised five of us as a single mother, and she asked me to help this baby grow. And, and did. I did just that. So now does your baby sister ever tell you thank you? <laughs> or are you still feeding her? Does she ever come by your mobile truck? And... Well, she feeds herself. She's okay. a national nurse in the Maryland area. She works at John Hopkins. She's a professor of nursing for that hospital. And she, I don't think she needs me anymore. <laughs> oh, no, she still needs her big brother. But you also, speaking about being in service, were you once a corrections officer or you worked in that yes, field? Yes, yes. I retired from the New York City Correction Department. I want to say hello to my correction family out there. Very nice. What was that like? How many years did you spend doing that, Leslie? I did, I did that for 15 years. Okay. Ironically, um, I learned the, the job, but I ended up in the kitchen as well. Okay. For the department, yes. But I spent many years in the kitchen. Feeding Fe a lot of people. Feeding the, the, the detainees, feeding my, my colleagues, feeding myself, feeding even the commissioner of corrections at the time. My goodness. And now, even the mayor, Mayor um, really? Mayor Koch, God bless him. Wow. Yes. All once, right. He once came into my kitchen and he ate one of my meals. Absolutely. Rave reviews, I've heard. Uh, in fact, somebody called me to say, oh, I know his mobile truck because you also do like parties, like you do children's parties, adult parties, where the mobile yes. truck comes in. So tell us about that process. Yes, we, we got the idea about two months ago. We, we do festivals and fairs, but we got the idea to actually um, mobilize the kitchen and pull and bring it to the driveway. <laughs> and it's been a phenomenal response. Um, you know, it's very easy. Um, we do the cooking right there on the spot. Everyone f seems happy and rub their tummy happiness coming out of the, <laughs> coming, coming at, the, at the house. Yeah, you know, and kids love trucks. I remember my boys when they were both little, um, and, and my daughter at least too, they love vehicles, you know, whether it yes. was a fire truck coming down the lane or whether it was something, they were just fascinated by trucks, school buses. You know, it's one of the first things kids learn. You know, they're going through the little pop-up books, you know, it's like, what is this? It's a truck, what is this? You know, it's a vehicle, what is this? So. I believe what's so exciting is that you're bringing your passion for food in the form of this cool truck, yes, right? And yes. so it's like you're bringing something special to them that they might not have in their driveway every day of their life. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, it, it, it makes for memories that, that um, children and adults will never forget. Um, you know, in the United States, you know, we're, we're the leading, um, we're, we're leaders in, in, in improvising customizing vehicles. We can probably make anything out of anything. That's absolutely true. Um, and we're also paying homage though to um, Haiti. Tell us about this that we yes. have right here. Tell us about your well, heritage and your culture. Well, that is my heritage. Thanks for bringing that up. You're welcome. I am Haitian, um, having came here in 1968. So I'm 56 now, so I've been here 53 years. So I'm Haitian American. And I, I bought uh, one of our liqueurs, uh, one of our national liqueurs. Um, as a gift to you. That's your gift, by the way. Oh, yes. Leslie, thank you so much. That was so kind of you. Yes. I do, I do like presents. It's so funny because having the show now for 15 years, um, I, and I thank you very much for that because it's, it's interesting for me to re be on the receiving end, and I also want to be on the gifting end. So I have a little pin that says, uh, live it up. It's like a little square lapel pin, so I will gift that back to you. So, Absolutely. But thank you for your kindness. Uh, that's, that's our subdivision. That's a, the, the recipe to make that has been in our family over 100 years. Really? Yes. And um, we, we, um, it's our national liquor in Haiti. Um, as a matter of fact, um, this is what the, 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 the people became inebriated on when they pushed Napoleon's army back in 1804. Okay. When, eight, when, when Haiti gained their freedom. Okay. So it became our national liquor, and it's, it's very rich. 
uh, very tasty. And um, every, everywhere you go, people demand it. It's, it's well, part I of our thank culture. Thank you for educating me about that and yes. for sharing that with me. That's thank so, you. so nice. Yes. And I know that you're going to um, feed my crew today. Absolutely. Right? And I think everybody's I, excited about that. Yes, it, it, would be, it would be ungood guy to come by and not feed everyone. That's not a good guy. That's a bad guy. When you started this company, what was the first thing that you needed to do in order for this to become a true business for you? Well, I needed to build a truck. Okay. I needed to build a truck and build it in a way where people can enjoy it, where they can see what's going on inside. I needed to pick the right vehicle and, and the right silhouette and then get to get the building. And that's exactly what I did. Um, this truck um, is very much unlike a New York truck. Why? Because it's, it's based on a California silhouette. Hmm. Okay. I went to California about eight years ago and I saw something like it and decided that I was going to build it for New York. Okay. There you go, and coast to coast and everything in between. That is such an impressive truck. And I also found out that it, your sister wasn't the only person that you helped uh, raise into an adulthood. And who is that? My son. Tell us about your son. Well, his name is Rick Remy. He's a successful mortgage broker in Atlanta, Georgia area. And um, I, he was, um, I, he ate all of, all of dad's food. And that's how he became as as big and as healthy as he is. You were a single father? Um, no, I wasn't a single father. Um, he had, he, you know, he, he has his mom, okay, but um, he just loved dad's cooking. <laughs> Everything I made, he ate. Didn't have a problem, and that gave me the confidence that I needed, okay? And, I'm um, laughing because my son Matthew doesn't like my eggs. He'd rather <laughs> someone else make them or he'd rather make them himself. He thinks I'm terrible at making eggs. So that's why I was kind of giggling. So that's kind of cute that he just loved your cooking. He, he ate everything that dad made. Everything. Okay. And, um, and he turned out to be a fine young man. I'm very, very proud of him. Um, he's made me proud everywhere he's gone. Um, he's a successful mortgage broker. And um, he's on Facebook under Rick Remy. Okay. R-I-C-K-R-E-M-Y on well, Facebook. I can see that um, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. And I'm sure that he is just as proud of you for being the entrepreneur that you are now. Yes, so Congratulations absolutely. to you, Leslie. Yes. I, I wanted to shout out, if I can. Of course. Say hello to all my correction friends out there. My correction family, Fryson, Pridgen, Chapman, and too many, too much, too many more to list. I wanted to uh, also um, shout out the town executive, town supervisor, Angie Carpenter, a lovely lady. Okay, she's the town supervisor for Islip. Okay, she deserves the her, the next vote because she's doing a phenomenal job. Also wanted to shout out the county executive. Uh, Steve Ballone for the County of Suffolk. And I want to shout out also his new commissioner, Rodney Harris. He's doing a fine job. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate that because when we start a business, it's not just us. It's many, many people that help a business Absolutely. Thrive. It's teamwork. Absolutely. Good for you. You're Thank an upstanding you. person. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Thank Leslie very Remy. Much. Stay tuned for more. And if you have a dream in your heart and you want to bring it to fruition, you know, take some advice from Leslie Remy, because if he can do it, we all can do it. And that's how I have my TV show. So we believe in you. Go fulfill your dreams. And if you need the truck to come to your house, you can, you can call Leslie for that too. 631-383-5237. You are delicious. Thank you. Thanks for watching.